Question. P.S. If W equals decimal 81 Q, X equals decimal 81, and Y equals decimal 81 to the power of 5, which of the following is true? Solution. Let us talk about the property of size of powers. The size of the nth power of a number depends on whether the positive value of the number is larger or smaller than 1. If x is greater than 1, then the number increases as the power n increases. x is less than x squared, is less than x cubed, is less than x to the power of 4, is less than and so on. If 0 is less than x is less than 1, then the number decreases as the power n increases. x is greater than x squared, is greater than x cubed, is greater than x to the power of 4, is greater than and so on. We have to compare w equals decimal 81 q, x equals decimal 81, and y equals decimal 81 to the power of 5. This type of questions appears frequently. Depending on where the number is from 1, the direction of the inequality sign would change. We are dealing with the property given above. If 0 is less than x is less than 1, then the number decreases as the power n increases. x is greater than x squared, is greater than x cubed, is greater than x to the power of 4, is greater than and so on. So, since 0 is less than decimal 81 is less than 1, we have that y equals decimal 81 to the power of 5 is less than w, which equals decimal 81 cubed is less than x, which equals decimal 81, that is, y is less than w is less than x. Thus, b is the correct answer. Answer, b.